Thank you all so much to all the comments and suggestions for other ships to build into mechs that were left on my TIE Fighter mech video. The two Jedi starships aren't actually that similar in really any way to the TIE Fighter. The only similarity I can see is the fact that we've got this cockpit of the TIE somewhat represented at the front of Anakin's ETA and that is I guess the only similarity between the mechs. They really are their own ships and they're also a little smaller but we're keeping to the mech size as we will be this series. The size of the mechs isn't actually too different to the size of some of the ships and if you want to see my minifigure scale starfighter videos because these are modified from their sets they're already on the channel just search for which one you want Anakin or Kenobi and they'll pop up. I think we'll start off with Anakin's which is the requested model. I think both of these have turned out really really good. I don't think I could pick a favorite. I like the style of Anakin's more but I think the cleanliness of Kenobi's mech just makes it level with this one so you'll have to let me know in the comments which one you prefer between Anakin or Kenobi, but you haven't seen Kenobi's yet, so before you vote, let's take a look at Anakin's. I'm sure you've all seen the Starfighter and are very well known with it, either from Revenge of the Sith or Clone Wars. Slight different styles, but you know, it is the same model after all, so that is why Clone Wars Anakin is in the cockpit of the mech. Now, you probably have quite a few questions. First off, let's take a look at the back here. We've got these boosters or I don't really know what they're representing they're just really really cool and I've just taken these wings sort of flipped them backwards and use that to give the arm some flair I originally was going to take inspiration from the old Thor mech have them hanging down as some sort of cape but I think this looks so much cooler we've got the boosters on the torso we've got these fins here which I guess help with the movement of the mech we know Anakin is definitely going to have the most modified mech of all you can see all around we've got these different I guess they're mostly grills but they're used for greebling for some engine vents perhaps in the arms as he's stripped them down and of course we couldn't forget about R2 here on the elbow joint and R2 does actually spin I'm not quite sure how I can show this off but R2 does indeed rotate a full 360 degrees on the arm if I can just there we go you can somewhat see it from on the top there but R2 is able to rotate and I guess it's the same for this other tile on the right elbow but I have really spared no detail when it's come to this mech we've got a similar shape on the hand as the wings in fact the feet themselves are modeled as close to the wings as I can get. You can see there's a yellow slope for the fin that's meant to be sticking up a little more than it is. And then we've got this stud at the front for the blasters. We'll get to the two giant swords Anakin is holding in a second. And just the general shape of it, even at the back, we've got two of these light bluish gray cheese slopes to represent that little spike at the back of the wings so I have tried to cover as many details and carry them across again this is modeled after the ETA rather than Anakin Skywalker so it doesn't have much traits of the Jedi but I feel at the same time the ships definitely line up to the pilots you can see in this mech version of Anakin's ship he definitely gives a bit of that Skywalker style alongside looking like the ship we've got the cockpit piece on the front I didn't want to use the same one as the TIE Fighter used, the UCS Interceptor Polybag dish on the front just there. I wanted it to be bigger because looking at the body of this ship, it's basically all cockpit. I mean, you've got that extra little bit at the bottom, which again, I've carried over the colours there. Actually, there's a little Easter egg here. You might be able to see a few black plates and the black sort of step plate that they use to hold everything together on the mech torso. And I've used it in black rather than a grey to reference the black brick holding this ship together. I thought, why not go with black as the original ship did? But comparing it to the Timec, I really do like it and it definitely stands out. Not just the bright yellow, which I don't have a Lego bright yellow torso. So I've had to use this slightly off yellow, but I have included a few other parts around the mech just to make it not stand out as much as possible. But it does stand out next to the tie, and that's exactly what you'd expect from Anakin. 
Now, the reason behind the two swords. Well, a ETA-2 Jedi Starfighter has these twin blasters. But if I was to unclip one and give you a closer look, you can sort of see they look like little swords. Well, at least that's what I imagined when I was building the mech. So I thought, why not give Anakin two swords? It's not only a nice reference to the long cannons on the ship, but also calls back to when he fights Barris Offy in the Clone Wars. And if there was another reference I could include, I'd have to use it for the mech. Also, blasters are so uncivilized. So I couldn't just give a Jedi ship or a Jedi ship mech for this matter. Some simple blasters. I had to create something especially for this mech. And Kenobi's even got a different weapon. You might not be able to see Kenobi's weapon just yet, but we'll get to that in a minute first off we've got to start with the arms because of that wedge plate used the same one used in the set in fact i think this is probably a spare piece i got from making this set minifigure scale because the wings were absolutely massive but i had to include that and i've even got the engine vent with the scorch marks represented up on the shoulder joint now the hand does stick out to give it some extra angles it reminds me of the transformers lego have just announced a Bumblebee Transformers set coming in July. Stick around July 1st, you will hear more from me on that. But this reminds me of the Star Wars Transformers we got. I think me and my brother had a Vader's TIE Transformer and a Luke X-Wing Transformer. And it's similar here. You could probably convert this mech into the ship in some way. It would be great for turning this mech into a Kenobi Delta microfighter, which if you don't know, we've definitely turned our fair shares of mechs into microfighters, microfighters into mechs, and we could just continue doing that forever. But the droid is also not quite left out. Now, I don't have a second droid. I only picked up one of the set. I don't see myself picking up another set. So I've had to use this other dome dish piece in the chest, but it makes sense that the droid would be sort of the power unit of the mech. It's almost like the Google Assistant or the Siri or whatever other devices you use, the Amazon Alexa of the suit, because when Kenobi's flying, especially in Attack of the Clones, he does ask his R2 unit to help out a bit and I guess carry its own weight. It does do a lot for him. So it had to be the, I guess, drive of the mech suit. And you can also see that on the back, we will take a look at the back now. I've included the radar dish, the satellite dish, the sensor of sorts that Kenobi uses to contact the Jedi Council. And Kenobi's always contacting the Jedi Council. So that had to be included on the right shoulder as well as some engines and a nice bit of greebling on the back. It's actually really easy to add greebling on the back of these mechs because they have space for axles on the top half of these middle center studs so it means i can attach pieces like this t-bar very very nicely now something i didn't point out with anakin's mech so we will bring anakin back a second is i did include the saber on the hill i really don't like this orientation but it's the only yellow clip bricks that i had so for kenobi i had to include these white ones the well what i consider the right way around and i've also filled out the gap next to the torso because I think it just looks like a stronger mech. It's a bit squared off, which I can see why Lego for a play toy doesn't want their builds to look too square and start looking like something from Minecraft. But I really do enjoy building them out and just making them look as sturdy as I can. There's also quite a bit of this lime green. Thank you, Power Miners, for all these pieces because you can see on the front, you've got this somewhat N shape on the ship. So I have represented that quite nicely, I may add, on the front here, including this belt buckle or portion on the lower front of the torso's body. The legs are highly, highly inspired by the Luke X Wing mech because you can see that I have just included not really much of a shape but just a load of colored pieces inspired by kenobi's delta and again taking a look at anakin's mech i've done the same here the only difference is i've actually widened the leg to get another really nice angle at the top there there's not much more to say for kenobi except for the weapons you can see kenobi's got no blasters no swords 
but what he does have is wrist cannons. That's right. I have taken the sort of non-existent weapons from the Delta. They're not included in the set and they're very hard to implement as they actually fall quite close to this gap between the wings at the front. But I have whacked them onto the wrist of Kenobi and I feel like Kenobi's mech, it makes sense to be more of a hand-to-hand -hand combat. So he has these weapons just in case they're more from the ship than they are for the mech. And it's like when he's training Anakin in the flashback scene of Kenobi and he loses his saber, but the fight is not over. Kenobi is a very wise Jedi and doesn't need any weapons to fight. So he hops in his mech and just takes them on hand to hand. It's a really nice link again to the ship and the character piloting them. So as there's no fancy weaponry, it'd be a bit different if we were talking about Kenobi's ETA. I would have had to given him some large swords like Anakin. But this is also before the Clone Wars. There's not really much need to have such weapons on him. And it's a nice reflection of the character. As I said, I have no idea what my favorite one is out of these three. So I'm gonna leave a poll up on the community tab where you can vote for your favorite so far and be sure to keep your eye out for more coming as the rest of June is full of custom Starship mechs. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I think if I had to pick my favorite right now in the moment, it would have to be Kenobi's, but be sure to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy any of these builds or are generally just enjoying the Lego mechs, especially with the new Luke Skywalker one. Hopefully we see some more and there's a bit of consistency and they don't switch it up once again. But check out all the other videos on screen. That's all for today. And may the bricks be with you always.